Hey, what's up, guys? And this is going to be episode four of six point. What is it? Six point two completion uh, exploration. I don't know why I found that so difficult to think of what it was. Um, is there anything else I want to try from the last episode? Wait, let me just look. We're gonna do. This. We gotta choose a path real quick. Cause like I kind of like didn't do that before we hit the record button, which is kind of stupid. But what is this? Software from locked one bar power. What is this, Mr. Sinister? Cornered in buffet. Uh, that'll probably be fine, right? Do I need ghost for that one? So going for this path. Hmm. Then I'm gonna go for this path right here. What are the nodes on it though? Rage? Ugh, that's a stupid node. Why did I put rage? That just makes me confused as. I guess we're going for that path. But let's change up the team. I don't know why they'd put rage on this node. That's just kind of a stupid combination. Check out this guy for this guy. Yeah. And I think we're just gonna be building up Aegon in like every fight. Okay, yeah, we got the energy refill, yeah. Let's just build up Aegon, I guess. That just I don't even understand like why rage is a node that they would decide to put on this quest. Like how are we supposed to pair to get her like oh I don't even know. I think we're literally just going to build up Aegon and just tank the regens. Because we're going to be getting Furies and we won't be able to get them off. We won't be able to get the Furies off because we won't be able to get it in on Luke Cage. Oh my god, they got hit. That's so annoying. Like, Dude, I need to just fucking parry. This is stupid as shit already. God, I'm so annoyed with myself already. I already lost 30% in the first fight. Okay, so note to self, you can't intercept. Can't have you intercept to a special one, apparently. Or you, you can't, I'm just trashing it. Come at me. Yeah, I don't even know how to dodge that. I'm not gonna attempt. Well, this is a terrible first fight. So that's cool. Alright, we're just gonna push. Alright. First fight down. Very sloppy Aegon gameplay. I, I thought you could, like, uh, what's it called? Come catch with that special one. I think you can. I might. My distancing was just really bad. You know, out of all the f lane, um, paths we were doing in 6.2, this is not the one that I thought Aegon was going to be, like, most useful for. But, as it turns out, that Rage Luke Cage, I think I actually need to use Aegon for. Because I won't be able... Because once I pass the 2.5 crit thing, whatever it is, or, like, five times and he goes fully unblockable, we won't be able to parry to um get rid of the Furies. So I'm just gonna need to like purify the D gens with Aegon. That seems like the only way, right? Unless I'm missing something, but I think that's the only way. Or at least the only way in my roster that I can see in the first 20 seconds. There's probably other options, but eh. Oh my god. Why am I being such a noob, bruh? It's pissing me off. This should be like Shouldn't even be getting hit. I'm just playing it like a bot. God, I'm so pissed. Why am I getting hit, dude? Like, I'm just like fucking every fight up. 
it's annoying me so much because like I shouldn't have gotten even gotten a hit yet. And it's annoying. It's more even more annoying because my combo just gets shafted. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I should have been at like 50, 60 hits already or something like that. But I keep getting hit and I keep screwing up my combo meter. And then it makes me spend items that I really shouldn't be spending. I think on this entire quest I shouldn't probably even spend like one unit unless it's an energy refill that I like want to buy or something. I shouldn't be spending it. Like this should be like one of the easiest quests. Quest 1 all the way to quest 4. Or other than quest 2. Like quest... Oh my god. And of course I didn't crit there. I hate that parries give you a fury. Like why is that even a thing? Come on. Well, this should pretty much just kill her. Oh, we went one fight that can hit. It's a miracle, right? Ah, God. He got it so useful, though. Like, I rank five of him, and he's just, like, something, like, random quest that he's just good for. Like, what was it? Like, the Crossbones chapter, 6.1. He handled that chapter like a god. Let me just look to see if there's any... Thing I should be aware of. So I'm definitely not going to use Aegon on... What's it called? Domino. Because I'm going to need to save my Aegon's health. If I don't get to a 100 combo... In these two fights... That's going to be annoying. Because I need a 100 hit combo to fight against... Um, Luke Cage. Oh my god. If I didn't get that off... I was going to be so pissed. Oh, this is good healing actually. I was playing ultra safe, I'm not trying to go for any like big fury plays, just because I need him to be alive for the Luke Cage fight. After that, we can do it. We can just go ham. I love this special one lock node. I and I didn't think about it when we were going into this quest, but this is just healing me up from willpower. It's so beautiful. Wait, like, how am I gaining power though? I just look down and I have what? Oh, is it because I'm purifying it? Oh my god, I was so confused. I didn't even realize Aegon could counter these nodes with this purify thing. Because I guess it's not a passive. I mean, it makes sense why it would work, but I just never, like, considered it. I just saw myself slowly gaining power, and I thought it was, like, a glitcher sign. Nope. Turns out that was meant to be. That's cool. I like that interaction. I'm gonna heal up just as much as I can. Just a little. This is so sexy. This is such a beautiful node. I wow. Round of applause for whoever made that node. Because I literally, when I saw special one lock, I just thought it was gonna be more annoying than anything. But I think Aegon's only character who can um, get to a special three with a special one lock node. <laughs> That's funny. It healed me up so much, too. Aegon's just such a beautiful character. They're just I'm learning more and more crap from him every day when I play him. Just more and more stuff he can handle. We just gotta build up to a special one. There you go. Now we have healing. Come on. It's kind of annoying though, every time I crit, it gets rid of my healing for like half a second. But you know, it's worth it. I love that it instantly comes back. It doesn't just like leave forever. So I get infinite healing. 
I feel like Brian Grant would love this interaction. He loves, he loves weird ways to heal up. That's like his favorite thing in this game. As Brian Grant would say, full yellow bar, baby. Oh, that's so satisfying. After getting hit like a re, like in the very beginning by those two fights, that was such bad gameplay. I just ending it with a sexy yellow bar. That just feels so good. But am I, I'm going to have to play well in the Luke Cage fight. And then who else is here? Morningstar? I can just use him for that too. So who do I use for this fight? Who's like the sacrificial lamb? I want to say Symbio Supreme, but he's kind of not a good for this matchup. What would I just... I mean, he's not going to be used for any of the fight. I just want to get him... So like, I want to try to ideally get Domino low if I can survive long enough. And then just bring in Corvus for the finish so I can get a charge. But I don't know how this is going to work. Because Domino, sometimes she doesn't like to be parried, which is very annoying. But I guess, now thinking about it, oh god, I normally don't mess it up. We're going to be getting that healing, which is nice. I love that interaction. I've never, like, thought that a special one lock would just be healing me up constantly. Because I guess I've never had an opportunity to see it. Oh, I forgot about the heavy attack then. Oof, that's a lot of degen. Seems like would be insane for this if um there wasn't a special one lock, because I could just launch a massive special two to end her career. Alright, listen, I'm gonna need you to throw that. Alright, thank you. I like this. Very peaceful fight. Should I even bother getting the charge and Corvus? Like should I just commit suicide? Actually, let's not get ahead of myself. So I, I, I could still die. Not on purpose. Never know a domino. She could throw a random curveball at you. Alright, come on. She is not throwing her special, too. Rip, I could have just gotten some nice damage with that phase, but... Whatever, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. And I've been saying I haven't done, I'm not gonna do itemless. But I haven't really used items. Actually I did this little lane, never mind. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> I used health potions, I forgot. Uh, that worked way better than I thought it was. Okay, so this for this fight. He has rage and Icarus. So with Icarus and Rage. Okay, so I'm trying to go intercept mode, I guess. But hopefully Aegon can get rid of the um the D Gen thing. Okay, well, he's gonna be fully unblockable now, so let's just go for it. You need to use your special. Actually I can hit through block, that's cool. Dude, Aegon is just so good for everything in this game. If this guy didn't have um What's it called? This note on him. Rage. He would be dead so much quicker. Can I do more damage to the block? Nah. That's so annoying. Oh, that fury. That's doing a lot of damage to me. Oh, dang it. I don't think I'm going to be able to live through this fight. Wait. Aegon coming in clutch, baby. I should get one more hit after this, I think, right? Aegon is a beast for this game. This whole game, he's just insane for. Him. Oh my god. That was. I knew he'd work. I just had faith because Aegon is just literally like the best character in the game. Okay, but who am I going to use to get past this morning star? Can I use Corvus? Should I just bucket with Corvus and just don't even worry about the Icarus node? Yeah, we're doing that. 
We don't have time to be worrying about Icarus. If I had of his awakened ability, it'd be so much more helpful. But I probably should be double medium, now that I think about it, just to build it up faster. Okay, Corvus is not hitting as hard as I thought he'd be hitting, so... Is it Degen? Okay. I thought the Degen wasn't even like doing anything at first, I was confused. Okay, well, this needs to do a lot of damage, and it didn't do that much damage. Oh, God. This went really bad way quickly. Yeet. Boom. Okay, well, you know, he did his part. I needed someone to bleed immune for that, and I didn't bring blade. I kind of forgot, so whatever. It still works. Who did I even just click on? I literally wasn't paying attention. Alright, Symbiote Supreme. We just need some crits, which we're not getting, which is great. Okay, I don't even know what just happened there. Oh, I think, yeah, I know what happened. Symbiote Supreme nullified his fury. Good damage. Right, let's do this. Who should I use now? Uh, I'll use Captain America, I guess. Try to get like, a Master Special 2 again. Do, 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 do. You know, I like this. I like this node. It's fun, but at times it's a little. See, if my Corvus was awakened, this lane would be so much more cheesy. I right, wish you gonna push for it. All right, sir, I'm gonna need you to throw that. Crit, a hundred twenty-five k. That is juicy stuff. Oh, if that last one crit. Oh, that would have been so sick. I think if that last one hit, how much shot? 27? If the last one crit, I think I would have killed him. That was a sick try, though. I didn't, after I launched that special 2, I was like, oh, I'm going to die to a special 3. And then I just pushed myself with that stun. Just barely over. That was, a, that was a sick fight. That was a sick lane overall. With the healing with Aegon and the Luke Cage fight. A lot of clutch fights. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.